Now at the moment, Windows through Parallels on the new M1 Max just does not work at all. Video over, catch you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Only joking, just keep watching for another minute or two and I'll explain to you why. Now I've been looking at other YouTube videos out there and no one seems to have been able to get Windows through Parallels to work yet. Now there's a very good reason for that and that's just because the Parallels team has not yet released a version of Parallels that is compatible for the M1 silicon. So what we'll do first of all is I'll actually jump straight into the computer screen and I'll show you in a little bit more detail. Now actually downloading and installing Parallels seemed to work okay, but every 10 seconds during the installation process, I would get error messages like this one here. So it essentially says this version of Parallels desktop is not supported on Apple Silicon Macs. And it just prompts you to click the learn more button over and over again. And that actually keeps coming up every single step and you have to click okay. And then you'll finally get to the stage where you're actually able to download and install Windows 10. That seems to work fine, but then when you actually get into the app itself and you try to play it, but when you actually try to open up Parallels itself, this is what happens. So it takes you to the Parallels app itself and then you click on the start button and you just get the exact same error message again. So if we click learn more here, they do actually have an article here explaining why. And it's just that Parallels itself is actually a very complicated program. So it's very hard to actually just completely rewrite the software to be compatible with a completely different version of CPU. Um, so it's gonna take the devs some time to put it together and release a stable update. And if you're like me, you're keen to see how it's gonna work, you can actually click the subscribe button and then they'll actually sign you up to an email list and they'll notify you straight away when it's updated. I've actually signed up for the beta test. So as soon as that comes out, I'll let you guys know and we'll have a stab at it. So what does this mean for people who need some kind of Windows virtualization through Parallels? Well, at the moment, it's just not gonna work. So what I'd recommend doing is just holding off on buying a new M1 Mac. Parallels, like I've said previously, is working on releasing an updated version, but who knows, it could be here next week, it could be here in two or three months, no one knows. Although I would expect it's probably gonna be here very, very soon, because Parallels is a very popular thing to have on a Mac if you're a working professional or if you need it for coding or development, and Parallels is not gonna screw around, they're not gonna waste time, especially now that you can't boot camp on these machines. So I'd expect it's gonna be a very, very quick update to be released. Anyway, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.